Hello again, this is Lindsay Wallen, and we're going to be doing more enrollments. This enrollment is going to be for live courses. It's pretty similar to a webinar or online or correspondence, but there will be a little bit of difference and a few stipulations. So let's go ahead and get started. With this, we're going to enroll the student in a live course. Let's go ahead and click our class search to know what courses we have available. Our profession is always going to be appraisal because we only do a live courses for appraising courses. Also, again, as far as live courses are concerned, we only do continuing education. All of our qualifying education are going to be uh, online courses for them. Next, we want to pick what state that person is licensed in and needs the credit for that course. In this situation, it's going to be California. And delivery method will be on-site or classroom, so on-site. Next, we want to pick what state the seminar is in. It's going to be held in California. And lastly, we want to pick which seminar location and day and time they were looking for. They're always listed in alphabetical order. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and do the Dublin, California, January 21st and 22nd. Once we have our whole criteria in of appraising continuation for a live course in California at the Dublin location, we can go ahead and click Submit. This is going to bring up all of the courses that are being held. With live courses, we may have more than one course on different days or multiple courses in one day. Every student has the option to pick one, all of them, or any combination in between. As you can see, this one has two courses. The first one is going to be held January 22nd. It's called Exploring Appraiser Liability, and it's a seven-hour course that's going to be known for, for elective. The other one is our National Use PAP course, the 1819 version, and that's going to be held on the 21st. That also is a seven hour course, and that, as we all know, is going to be a mandatory course. The other thing we notice is the Use PAP book. Obviously, the book gives zero credit towards continuing education. What we do need to realize is that the book is required for every student that attends a USPAP course. We need to guarantee that they have a course of, a book available to them when they get to the course. Therefore, we always have to enroll them in the course. Of course, there's always an, an exception to every rule. Virginia. Virginia is the only state that we do not have to have a USPAP book sent or at the course for. The lovely state of Virginia is nice enough to mail them out a book when it comes out. Therefore, they don't need a second one. In this scenario, because we need to guarantee that they have a book at, course, at the course, we need to make sure that we check mark to add it in. Now that we have both courses and the USPAP book going to the, to the course, then we can click Save. When we save it, it adds those courses and the book into our invoice. Once they're in our invoice, as you can see, the total now shows what their price is going to be. We also want to remember to do the call type. Was that an inbound call or an outbound call that we made? The other thing we need to remember is that our discounts are going to be the same. They would be promo code, package rate, a price match, supervisor trainee, or um, our personal discount. In every case, we have to remember that the used PAP book is never discounted, no matter the situation. So this used PAP book is $75. With it being $75, if you were going to add a package of any type, you would need to take your total, the $374.98, subtract 
the $75 charge for the used pet book, and then you can figure out your discount. There's always an exception to every rule. If we want to sign up for a live course that is not in our state, as long as the course is accepted in our state, then we're more than able to take that course out of state. We would need to find out um, a few different things though. So let's go ahead and try. We would go back to our class search. And for this scenario, we're going to, of course, do appraising and continuing education because those are our only live courses. But now for state, we want to check what state that student has their license in, not the state they want to go to to take the course. So if they're licensed in the state of Nevada, we would select Nevada. Next is going to be our on-site for delivery method. But the seminar state is going to be California. They live close enough to the state or they're going to be traveling to that state or whatever the scenario, they want to go to California. Next, we would pick what, lo what location and day and time they would like for this. In this one, we're going to go to Fresno, California, November 4th through 5th. We want to select Submit. These are the three courses that are going to be held in those two dates. The first day is always going to be the USPAP, so it's the 18-19 seven-hour mandatory course for appraising. And then the second day, we are going to have a three-hour documenting the appraiser's work file course. And the second half of the day would be support your adjustment techniques for residential appraisers for four. As you can see, all together, if you took all of them, it's going to be a total of 14 hours. Seven are going to be elective and seven are going to be core. And you can see that right here. Now, as you can see also though, even though the class says that it's going to be held in California, if you look at the state that you're going to get those certificates and the credit for, it does state Nevada. For this one, we're going to select the three hour and the seven hour. That's two different days, but a total of 10 hours altogether. Now, what do you see that's missing from this enrollment? The one thing that we have to guarantee is at every USPAP course, the book. That's right. Because we're getting Nevada credit and it's a California state book, you can see why it's probably not showing up here. We have a solution. First of all, we want to put the courses we're going to into the invoice. So we're going to save. Now that those are set into your invoice, the only thing you need to do and also remember to do is go back to your class search. If you go up to the class search, you're again going to put in your criteria, but a little different. First of all, appraising, continuing education. This time we're going to select the California state because we need the California USPAP book to show up at that course which the instructor brings for the student. We're going to select our on-site location. The seminar state is still going to be the California and it's still going to be the uh, Fresno for November 4th and 5th. Once we have all our criteria in, we click our submit button. Now we see the courses that we submitted him in, him or her in. We don't need to re-enroll them and add them again. We already have the credit for those. What we need is the USPAP book. All we'll need to do is check mark the book and save. Therefore, we now have the right total for the book and the two courses that we're taking. We have that it's an inbound call that we received that day. And here's what we have below.
we have the two courses for California location. We have them set up to give certificates for Nevada credit. We have three hours of electives, seven hour of mandatory. And we have a use pat book that the instructor is going to bring for the student to, to have when they get there. Um, the other thing we always, always, always want to remember is there's never any discount for the use pat book. Again, the state charges us $75, and we pass that on to the student for the same price. Therefore, we can't save something that we're not charging money for. The last thing I want to show you is that sometimes the courses aren't available. And let's go into a few reasons why we might not be able to find them. So let's do our appraising, continuing education. And this time we're gonna pick a Pennsylvania license, an on-site course, a Pennsylvania seminar, state, and look, there's nothing here. Guess what that means? We do not have anything scheduled at the current time to be presented in a live course in Pennsylvania. Pretty simple, huh? That was one scenario. Another scenario you might run into is class search. And we wanted to pick appraising, continuing education. For this, we're going to pick the license for Pennsylvania. Delivery method, once again, is going to be on-site. Now, the state seminar is going to be held in Colorado. Seminar is going to be Boulder. Submit. Now, as you can see, there are courses available. Let's say that this seminar actually had an additional day to it, the 17th of December. On that date, there was another course that's being held. It would be um, work file documentation for seven hours. The reason why this would not show up is because Pennsylvania has not accepted that course to be taught in a live situation. And therefore, even though it is approved in Nevada, a Pennsylvania licensed appraiser would not be able to take it for credit. Just another heads up. With all of these, again, don't forget, if you need anything at all, if you're confused on anything, please always ask questions. We hope that you're having a great time learning and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.